We want to make some launch demons here so we can configure Snort, Barnyard 2, and Anvil to properly launch upon system uh, is booted or rebooted in the critical event of power failure or even a simple restart. So, we need to create the file. Should we have that written correctly? Oh, I don't. This is where cutting and pasting makes it extremely helpful to just copy and paste that. We'll save that as its file. We want to load GPU launch daemon. Now we want to create one for the SMTs. To make this a bit easier, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Save that. And we'll load the SMT launch daemon. Save. Now it's saying if you'd like to use this launch daemon, simply kill the current snort process and then load this daemon. Snort has already been killed, that's why we didn't run it in demon mode, because we were going to get to this point. We need to create one for Barnyard 2. So we'll create this file. Copy and paste what needs to go in. Exit. Save. Load the daemon. Again, this is why we didn't run Barnyard in the background initially. Okay, Nmap. Nmap, this is, as many of you know, I mean, the, uh, probably the most recognized and accomplished port scanning utility. And Anvil, in this latest version, version 7, uh, Anvil SAS, it can now utilize Nmap uh, with three different features called offensive reconnaissance, network host scanning, and rogue host detection. We can get into more about what these do later. Um, but they do utilize Nmap. And so we are going to download and use this. Uh, and this is the file we want. 6.01. And that's the tar file. There it is. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, we want to copy it from our downloads into our user local bin. And then change to that directory and then untar it. Change into that directory in the dot .wac configure. Make and make install. Okay, nmap successfully installed. And so the next thing we need to do in Anvil, for example, if we go to offensive reconnaissance, now this is a feature which utilizes nmap to find another hosts. OS fingerprint, their up-down state, and any available services. 
Now, we currently see that it's not found, so we just need to go to our console configuration, preferences, and if we come down here to network scanning. All right. We just need to tell that it's in user local bin and map and update it. Now, if we go back, there it is. So this feature is ready for use. And that really concludes the complete installation process. Now, really just comes some, uh, some configuration, some personalization, and actually adding rules, and then just waiting and getting the snort traffic, and you'll start seeing events. So that kind of completes our installation guide. You can also see on our YouTube channel here other uh, configuration and troubleshooting guides. And for any further questions, you can always call and email us at support.group at tacticalflex.com. But thank you for your time.